signs and welcome to your daily love reading this is for cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising and venus um i do have to apologize i did pull your oracle cards already because i tried recording this this is the second time and my camera quit right after i drew these cards so cancer you guys got orphaned scorpio you got round or pisces i mean you got round and round and Scorpio, you got never-ending story. Um, Sagittarius also got this. So you may be a Scorpio Sag Cusper or have both in your chart. You know, one's sun, one's moon. Um, or you could be connecting with a uh, Sagittarius. So however it fits, um, apply it in that way. But we will uh, reflect on those throughout your guys' reading. So this uh, Cancer, you will be first. P Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in that order. So let's see what our cancers need to know in love today. Um, check out the description box. I did put up my new um, my new posting schedule. I will be doing weeklies on a certain day, monthlies on a certain day, um, and it'll be staggered throughout the week so I can get them done without being overwhelmed because uh, it takes a lot of energy. So, okay, my goodness. Cancer, I think we're ready for you. Cancer males and females. Males, you guys have the King of Wands. He's been showing up a lot today. Females, Cancer females, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Your guys' situation today is the Ten of Pentacles. Your challenge is patience, my friend. With the temperance card uh in the recent past you have the world and in your new future you have the king of swords your bottom of the deck and your foundation is the three of cups so um what something that used to bring you so much joy and happiness is now something that um is coming to an end and things are changing majorly um, for both male and female cancers, your card was orphaned. So you're feeling like somebody um, allowed this relationship to end, allowed um, allowed their, their passion, their desire to end this. I do feel um, there could have been a third party situation here um, and somebody is bringing this relationship to an end, whether you cancer or your person, this is done and over with. I do feel they left because you are the one that is feeling orphaned, abandoned, um, feeling like they weren't willing to put up the fight. Uh, this came to the end of a cycle, and instead of starting back over, um, you know, starting the next chapter of your guys' life, they decided to walk away. Your challenge is you need to find this healing, cancer men. Um, don't just go out and sleep with everybody is what I'm hearing. Uh, you are going to, um, let me get some clarifiers. You are getting your groove back though. You are getting over, uh, whatever it was that happened in the past. Um, you are communicating that you're fine if this ends heavy fire sign for you cancers dealing with fire. Most definitely Aries Leo Sagittarius. We have heavy Sagittarius here. Uh, with temperance and the king of wands but you're done you you're done putting up a fight for this to end if they want to go go why is this king of swords here yeah you're no longer feeling trapped by the situation this could be a lawyer um, and they are getting you out of this relationship you're not really speaking to this person at the moment um yeah healing is needed you have the ten of pentacles under that as well so um you could be uh messaging this person that you're done uh keep your temper under control in court i'm hearing um because it could backfire if you you know have an uproar but this most definitely is you know your cue to move on to move forward to find that healing to find that balance and know that this is going to get you out of this headspace where you feel so trapped cancer females you are putting in the work to heal um, from somebody walking away in the past 
making you feel not valued, not enough. Um, and you're really doing the work, really putting in the time to uh, manifest something new, to manifest a new love offer after the ending of a different situation. Um, you really are finding that inner peace. You're finding that inner balance. Um, you as well have the King of Swords in your near future. Why is the King of Swords here? You're meeting this person after you have taken some time away to heal, to rest, to do that inner work, to find that inner peace. This person is coming in your life after this um, time where you've stepped away and really been doing the work. Um, this is a new love interest for you females. Um, let's get one more. Yeah, this person is coming in after you heal your heart. There's going to be a lot of love shared between the two of you, a lot of celebration, um, and good good things coming your guys' way for you cancers. So, uh, man, you're just coming out of this cycle. You're just coming out of this relationship. Females, I feel you've been um, out of this connection for a couple months. Uh but you're both going to be much happier um, in the next step of your journey after healing the old wounds of feeling like somebody walked out on you. Pisces, you feel like you've been here before. You're manifesting in the same relationship over and over and over again, but with a different person. Same situation, same characteristics. It all ends in a burning fire of a burning blaze, you know, and you can't figure out why you keep picking these same people. Um, it's time to break free of those patterns. It's time to heal what it is that you're so attracted to about these wounded people that are coming towards you. All right, Pisces, thank you. All right, Pisces men, you have the three of swords in reverse. Pisces women, you have the eight of pentacles. Your challenge or your situation is the uh, Wheel of Fortune. It is challenged today by judgment in the recent past. You've had the strength in the near future. You have the Nine of Wands, the bottom of your deck and foundation um, of your relationship. Wow. Look at this. You're dealing with a fire sign most definitely. Um, or you have fire heavy in your chart. But this is a perfect vibrational match. Um, that was, that began on a very sexual content. Like, um, this could have been a one night stand and it turned out to be like, now I can't get them off my mind. I can't forget about them. I can't stop thinking about them. And my mind keeps going round and round and round about what to do. Pisces men, getting out of this heartbreak, new things are coming in for you. Both these cards represent Sagittarius for me. So you could have a Sagittarius coming into your life bringing you new blessings, bringing in new opportunities, new things. Um, and this person, uh, this person is coming in after the healing. Um, you could have been dealing with a Leo in the past, um, but this is all a fire for sure. Somebody in the past broke your heart and you needed to heal. You needed to do the work to face those inner challenges, to figure out why this keeps happening to you. Coming to the end of that cycle now is going to bring in this beautiful connection for you. Why is the Three of Swords here for Pisces men? Yeah, the Devil and in reverse in the Eight of Pentacles. So you did the work. You have been working hard on yourself, trying to find that balance, trying to find that healing, trying to um, quit your toxic ways. If you're the one that was, you know, has these same patterns breaking the patterns of round and round you've really been manifesting this um connection you could have had a, a past of not really settling down not wanting anybody to take your heart not wanting anybody to get too close because the heartbreak is so real um in your near future you have the nine of wands um the resistance is going to stop uh, wow because you are mastering that strength you could be reaching out to this fire sign, opening up communication, um, messaging this person. It could have been um, a little bit since you have talked to them. But this is going to bring you in um, a beautiful, passionate connection after releasing um, those things that keep you going round and round. Pisces females, you are diving deep in work after a love situation did not work out. Things are going to happen. Things are changing that are going to bring in 
fortunate things for you, especially if you're dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, you have a lot of confusion right now, but truth and clarity will come to you from the divine. Keep working hard. Keep, you know, um, working on yourself and know that what is meant for you is coming in for you, but you have to quit fighting for a relationship that is not going to work out. They could, um, they could have told you that they can't move forward with you. They have other options, um, but it's time to release this so your new blessing can come in for you. There's a nine of wands here for, thank you. Ah. Okay, yeah, so your focus needs to be on your independence, on investing in your own happiness to release whatever you're holding on to that is not working out. Could be with a Virgo um, or a fire sign, but they have a family that they're not going to walk away from for some of you. So um, the offer that you made them, yeah, they're not going to accept it for some of you. For some of you, you just need to make a choice to move forward because this is what's waiting for you on the other side. Okay, on to my scorps. All right, Scorpios. Never ending story. You keep choosing these relationships that bring your self esteem down, that bring your self worth down. You tend to choose the ones who are broken, um, hoping you can fix them, and it only leaves you more broken in the end. Um, 37 breaks down to 10. This is the end of the cycle. Things need to change in your life so you can attract uh, th more abundance, better things, better relationships. Um, because this is really, these situations are just going round and round and round for you. And it's, it's heartbreaking for you. Scorpio. What do they need to know in love today? Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Scorpio men. You have the Page of Cups. Scorpio female, you have the Moon. Your situation of the day is the Ace of Wands. Wow. Claire, or challenged by the Ace of Swords. In the recent past, you have the Queen of Swords. In your future, you have the Queen of Wands. The foundation is confusion and more mindfuckery. This is somebody gaslighting you. This is somebody telling you a different story and it ends up being the same thing time after time. Never ending story. It's one thing after another. Um... But for all of you, there is a spark of hope today. There is some truth that's coming forward. The truth is your challenge, so it's not going to be easy to hear. But after you receive it, holy hell, do you have a new way going forward? If you see here, the Queen of Wands is with the Ace. The Ace of Swords is with the Queen. Men, you could have a choice of who do I need to or who do I want to offer my love to. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords again. So you're trying to figure out, uh, Scorpio men, do I want to go back to somebody of my past or do I want to move forward to somebody new? Um, and you're really trying to figure out that. If you're wanting to move towards a fire sign, that air sign is giving you some trouble. Why is the Page of Cups here for our Scorpio men? Thank you. Wow, let's throw an Ace of Pentacles out there. Okay. I think there was another one in there. All right, so the Page of Cups, there is an, a new opportunity. There is a door opening for you to move forward and make an offer to somebody. Um, this is a huge offer turning into a huge relationship, um, but it, it requires you to walk away from somebody of your past and to move forward balanced and healthy and ready to commit to a relationship wholeheartedly. Um, most definitely, I do feel you're going to go towards the fire sign for this group of Scorpios um, because you're tired of this never ending story. You're tired of things ending, you know, cold and, and ruthless and difficult, um, which happens to uh, happen every time 
you go back to this person. You could have offered this person numerous chances, but it always ends in the tower. Why is the Queen of Wands here for our men? Yeah, so most definitely men, you are walking away from a cycle that you feel betrayed you, that ended like it always does. And um, you're moving forward trying to find balance uh, with this Queen of Wands. You're very, very attracted to this person and you're ready to invest in them. Um, you are at a distance from this person, but you see their value, you see their worth, and you see that you want to offer them a commitment, offer them a, uh, a relationship. You feel that this is divinely guided, that this is fated for the two of you to be together. And it most definitely could be um, with three aces for you guys uh, coming forward. All right. For you Scorpio women, you have the moon, beautiful, intuitive energy, deep feelings, um, wanting to start something new, create something new. Um, using your intuition, you're going to move forward towards success. You're going to make a decision um, and choose to move forward. You and a fire sign female most definitely could be using your intuition to create a new business, um, spreading the divine truth. And it's something that both of you are very passionate about. You're coming out of this transformation, a different person. You could have had a spiritual awakening to where now you can hear your intuition and you're ready to move forward, spread your wings and fly. You're meeting this fire sign female. Um, and the two of you are going to go into like a business together. Um, like I said, it's going to be something you're both passionate about and it's spreading the divine truth, making a decision to follow your intuition and going with your gut on this one. It is what you have prayed for. You could, oops, you could have prayed for answers to your problems and all of a sudden this person shows up. All of a sudden, everything seems to be falling into place. Oh my goodness. Um, all of a sudden, everything seems to be working out in just the way it should. Like it's faded. Like it's meant to be. Why is it the Queen of Wands here for Scorpio women? You could also be a um, Aries or a, Aries, a Scorpio Sag Cusper. But I do feel this is more somebody that you are going to move towards. Um, yeah, this is somebody who is very intuitive. This could be a spiritual teacher who is teaching you how to listen to your intuition, how to use your spiritual gifts for good. Um, and the two of you are moving forward very quickly, making plans. I see this so successful, bringing you emotional fulfillment. It's also going to bring you that emotional happiness that you have been looking for after the ending of something in your past. Um, this communication is going back and forth very strongly between the two of you. You're ready to put an end to the way you have done things in the past. You're ready to let the negative um, patterns go and move forward and build a strong friendship, a strong business, and a strong future with this uh, friend that you could be making um, in the near future, Scorpio females. So beautiful reading for all of you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless.